Let's consider some basic principles associated with an oscilloscope. Oscilloscopes give us a great tool to visualize a waveform, which is a time varying signal, say a voltage V of T, where T represents time, and a time varying signal might look something like this. Oscilloscopes give you a more stable display when you are looking at a periodic signal. So for example, here's one period. It has a period of capital T. If this is one period, then a periodic signal has multiple copies of that shape uh, more or less indefinitely. The oscilloscope instrument has a very prominent display. It has a series of controls that you can use to manipulate the display. And it has uh, a way of getting the voltage signal into the instrument. So these uh, pair of wires then can be used to measure the voltage signal V of T. Now let's consider a couple example voltages. If the voltage actually is zero, then we get a, a spot or a particular point on the display at a, at a center location. If the voltage becomes higher than zero, then the spot goes up. And if it becomes, again, equal to zero, it drops back to that center location. When the voltage is less than zero, then the spot drops lower yet. So essentially the vertical displacement of that spot is proportional to the voltage. So up and down tells us the uh, voltage value. Now the waveform, which is this time varying signal, also has time involved. The oscilloscope then makes this spot move across the screen in such a way that it traces out the time behavior of that signal. So for example, the spot would move upward and to the right. In this case, it's moving downward and to the right and so on. So the spot is always tracing out uh, at a uniform rate from left to right, and that indicates our time axis. When it hits the end of the screen, it just jumps immediately over to the other side of the screen and keeps going. So the reason periodic signals display much better on the oscilloscope is because with appropriate starting uh, of that spot, you can get all those individual periods to overlap and then you get a single display. So this idea of when to actually start the spot moving across the screen is associated with what's referred to as oscilloscope triggering. Triggering is how the oscilloscope decides when to start the trace moving across.